Understanding the phrase, the show's got legs. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an intriguing English expression, the show's got legs. If you're keen on understanding English idioms and phrases, this video is for you. We'll explore its meaning, origin, and how you can use it in your everyday conversations. So, let's get started. When someone says, the show's got legs, they're not talking about a physical attribute. Instead, this phrase is a metaphorical way of saying that a particular show, performance, or project has the potential for longevity and success. It suggests that the subject has enough interest and appeal to continue attracting audiences or participants over a long period. The phrase, the show's got legs, has its roots in the theater industry. It was used to describe a play or musical that continued to draw audiences and generate ticket sales well beyond its initial opening. The idea behind the phrase is that just like a person or animal needs strong legs to stand and move, a show needs strong content, appeal, or fan base to sustain itself over time. Now that you know what it means, let's talk about how to use the show's got legs in your conversations. Here are a few examples. Discussing TV shows or movies. I wasn't sure about the new superhero series at first, but it's really picked up. I think the show's got legs. Talking about business ventures, despite the tough market, their innovative approach to online retail has shown that the business has got legs. In everyday conversation, did you see the community theater's latest production? It's so good that I believe the show's got legs. While, the show's got legs, is quite specific, there are variations you can use in different contexts. For example, this idea has legs, suggesting that a concept or plan has potential for success. That story has legs, indicating that a new story or rumor will continue to be relevant or discussed. We hope this video has given you a clear understanding of the phrase, the show's got legs, and how you can use it in your English conversations. Remember, idiomatic expressions like this one are a great way to add color to your language and connect more deeply with native speakers. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in our next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more English language learning tips. Happy learning!